Hey everyone, it's Nicholas. When was the last time you looked outside to see what the weather was like? Or maybe checked your phone to see if it was going to be a great day for a trip to the beach? Was it within the last 24 hours? The weather has such an impact on our daily lives that it's usually one of the first things we want to know each day. In fact, the weather was the topic of many stories and legends of early humans. Most early civilizations prayed to gods who they believed controlled those forces of nature. As we continue our study of the Earth's geography and all its uniqueness, today we'll focus on weather and climate. Do you know the difference between the two? Join me and find out. So what is the difference between weather and climate? Many people get confused about the two, but it's not a difficult concept. Weather is the state of the atmosphere in a given location. Is it sunny or cloudy? Warm or cool? Windy or calm? Precipitation, temperature, and other related phenomena pertain to the weather. It can change day to day or, depending on where you live, even a few times during the day. Weather is the day-to-day -day conditions of a given location. In some places, the weather can change rapidly in just hours, or in some cases, minutes. Imagine being in Miami as a tornado ripped through the downtown area in 1997. Shortly before this occurred, residents of the area were enjoying sunshine. In many parts of the world, a quick change in weather conditions is simply part of life. Now, climate is related, but certainly different. The climate of a location refers to the average weather conditions over a long-term period that could be months or even years. Predicting the climate is usually much easier than forecasting the weather. Climate is fairly consistent, but it can change drastically in a region or place over long periods of time. Certain factors affect the climate of the location, and if those factors change, the climate can change. Those factors include altitude, terrain, latitude, and bodies of water. Now, as you might expect, the variance in weather and climate around the world has a big effect on people. In fact, a location's weather and climate can actually change a culture's food supply, its transportation, shelter, and clothing. In fact, climate and weather can even reshape the Earth, sometimes much faster than we like. First of all, the food production of a nation or region depends greatly on the weather and climate. Often, early cultures would base their entire diet on the food available to them based on the climate and the weather. For example, the conditions in many places in Vietnam are perfect for growing rice. A blend of climate, terrain, and other conditions made rice a staple in the diets of Asians for centuries. On the other side of the world, corn became a primary food source for many Native Americans. While hunting and other crops were staples as well, corn was grown, harvested, and stored to provide food year-round. Weather and climate can affect both the quality of food being grown as well as the quantity. Today, with new technologies in packaging and transporting food, People have many more options than they once did. However, both the crops and livestock grown can still depend greatly on the climate of a location. The homes built in many parts of the world are also affected greatly by weather and climate. For example, you probably wouldn't see this type of dwelling anywhere near the Caribbean. Even in modern times, shelter is very much predicated on climate. Around the world, homes look different based on geographic and climatological conditions. This home, found in Indonesia, is made for local conditions but would not hold up well in many regions. Just as homes are designed with weather patterns in mind, so are cities and towns around the globe. Most of the world's population lives in climates that are more pleasant and less harsh. This city in Spain is just one such example. In fact, most of the world's population lives in what is called the temperate climate region. We'll soon learn more about other climate regions around the world, but much of China and India, the world's most populous nations, are located in the temperate climate, which features year-round temperatures that are warmer than much of the planet. The clothing worn by people around the world is, of course, based on climate and weather as well. This guy probably isn't heading to a warm beach anytime soon, but hopefully he's ready for a blizzard and sub-zero temperatures. Transportation can be affected by climate too. While modern technology greatly allows human access to just about anywhere, certain limitations still apply in many conditions. While humans today are able to adapt to their surroundings using modern technology, the Earth is still changing each day, and the weather and climate are a big part of that change. Weather, such as the sun, wind, and rain, along with water currents from oceans and rivers, continue to reshape the Earth's surface slowly but surely. As we learned previously, Erosion is a primary way that change happens. For example, the Grand Canyon is shaped by erosion from both wind and water. 
So to review, weather and climate affect the Earth significantly. Weather is the day-to-day -day change in temperature, precipitation, and other events. Climate, on the other hand, is the weather of a location over a longer period of time, usually years. Finally, both weather and climate affect each region and every location on Earth's surface. The Earth is ever-changing, and humans are always adapting to those changes, as well as the weather and the climate. As we near the end of our first unit on world geography, we hope that you're learning a great deal about the Earth and all it has to offer. Until next time! Hey, hey.